Hey guys, it's Dan Ross Probs here, and welcome to episode one of Never Skyblock. Yes, I recently downloaded the latest beta for the Bedrock Edition, that being 1.16.0.59 at the time of recording. Although today, as of recording, is a Thursday, and normally they release a beta update. But whilst in this beta, after I was doing a uh, speed run, I thought, why don't I just make, or at least give it a go, a Never Skyblock? And my god, this new Never stuff has made surviving in the Never totally 100% possible. And hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy me not slipping up, I hope, and messing up and trying to beat this. And now, what I mean by beating this is actually killing the Wither. Yes, my goal is to kill the Wither. Obviously, we can't get to the end in the Never, unfortunately. Um, so, I'm not allowed in the Overworld, so I have to get everything from the Never. Now, it is a Void, but it's not 100% Void. I'll explain more when I get on the World. And also, it does come with a Resource Pack, which actually removes all that Debug screen. And also adds in a few new textures to the ores. I just basically changed them to look like never based ores, if that makes sense. And it does come with a behavior pack that is solely changing two loot tables. And that is the never bridge loot table. And I just kind of added, like I say, these random ores just to the piglin trading. That's pretty much it, really. You got a super low chance of getting diamond ore, which is 1%. And a uh, villager spawn egg as well, I put in there, just in case I need to obviously get some enchantments because I don't know, I don't know if it's enough though. We're going to play it, we're going to find out if it's even possible first, but I wanted to do it with you guys because I think it'd be funny. Anyway, let's hit play and show you what I've kind of been up to. So you spawn in and you're right next to a never portal, there is concrete all around you and it just says here, never skyblock by Daniel's probs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, I'm not really releasing this out for download yet because I don't even know if it's even possible. And also, it's still in beta, guys. What's the point of me releasing it? If they're going to update it, maybe they're going to change some things. So I might have to tweak stuff. But anyway, let's go. We're never allowed back here unless we die. Because um, obviously I can't make a bed. But I can get a respawn anchor though, right? There we go. I've just spawned in. Hopefully it's not laggy. Um, I do spawn you on this so you don't take any full damage look, which is quite nice. That was quite a pain to actually set up, but I've done it quite okay. But this is it. I've kind of inspired this by the original Skyblock kind of shape, like the L or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, there's some gold ore there. There's some blackstone under there. And this is a mix between this crimson and warped. Um, I forgot what it's called. Nice ni Nilium, is it? Yeah, Nilium, I think. And yeah, you can obviously grow these um, lovely little fungi, fungus tree things. I don't really know what, why they give you wood, but they do. But it's cool, I'm not complaining. And also I've got a little soul sand kind of sandy inspired island like in the original Skyblock, which has some goodies in it. And yes, this is all you start off with. Am I being too mean? Maybe. I don't think I am though. Why is there dirt in there though, Dan? I put two pieces in there because you can obviously reproduce dirt if you get gravel. You obviously make coarse dirt and then use hose and then you can reproduce it basically. So I put two pieces in there just as a security and obviously I put some food because unfortunately you can't, I would have thought, I don't know why this isn't in the game, but why can't you make a mushroom stew, a stew sorry, with these? It's a bit weird. They are technically mushrooms, but I guess as they're never based, maybe they're kind of poisonous. I don't know, it could make some suspicious stew maybe, I thought, I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to use sweet berries today to to eat. So, first thing I'm going to do is just put a piece of dirt, let's break that just in case I don't place it there, here and grow that. Honestly guys, I don't know if this is going to grow, so hopefully by the end of the recording that has actually changed its state. Maybe it's never going to grow because there's no sunlight. Maybe it's only going to work if we actually bone meal it. I, I don't... I don't know, it's a lot of trial and error this, so fingers crossed I kind of do a right here. And for some unreal reason, this stuff, when you break it, gives you this. <laughs> what the hell is that? Obviously we are in a beta, guys. I think that's not supposed to do that. And I can't click in the chest, look. And when you break stuff, it just deletes it, look. Uh, weird. 
I, whatever you collect that, you just put in in the chest, run away. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to break this because this only has a slight chance of dropping something. So I really want to grow it a bit more bigger, really, ideally, anyway. Um, we want to break all this weird stuff. There we go. Now, this is really, really useful, all this stuff. I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah, it's cool for decoration. But for this kind of world, it's really useful because if we actually make a composter, you can actually compost it down, and that's how you're going to get all your bone meal. I think there's actually another one under there. Nope, there's not. I made that up. Now, this is also cool as well. These can actually grow with these stroom, stroom lights, I think they're called. Or stroom light, glows, stone. I don't really know. I think they're called stream lights. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they could grow with that. And obviously, you've got a bit of a light source, although we are in a nether, so I don't think it really matters too much. Um, yeah, so first of all, I want to make myself a, a crafting table. So this you could turn into slabs look. And you basically can use it like wood, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just put this here for now. And let's change up some slabs. Obviously, slabs are always a must-have on a sky block. And... Yes, let's make this composter. There we go. And we can just put this one here, for example. And I'm going to kind of just do that. There we go. So I can catch any drops that this obviously, you know, gives me or whatever. Because bone meal, whenever you bone meal stuff, it kind of like flies out. It doesn't just directly come into your like inventory or your hand slot. So let's kind of do something like that. There we go. Now I'm going to keep this blue one here and this red one here. Because, I don't know if you know this, guys, um, I need to actually craft up a pickaxe, otherwise I won't get any netherrack back. There we go. If you actually get the netherrack, hopefully I don't... There we go, I've got that one. And if I actually place this piece of netherrack, for example, next to this red one, put this in here, take this bone, and get the bone mill out, you can actually spread this stuff again. Now, you can only grow these fungus on um, netherrack which are related to the colour. So if I had a, a blue crimson um, fungus, it would only grow on the on the, the warps nylium. There we go. <laughs> These are all new names to me. But anyway, you're going to see, if I actually bone meal this piece of Neverack, it'll become the crimson nylium. And then I could actually grow the mushroom there, which I'm not going to because it'll probably delete all of this. I think there's a bit of a bug at the moment where you could delete blocks with these ginormous mushroom tree things. Um, so yeah. Right, so what I'm trying to say is I can keep these two under here because they won't actually ever get changed to Neverrack. So that could be my my farm area, if you know what I mean. So I could just easily expand this like this and, you know, spread it quite easily. So you can actually use um, the so-called leaves of this, which is the Neverwarp block, in the composter as well. And it actually gives you quite a high, like, rate, if you know what I mean, which is pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to put all these other bits in here, and you'll see I will get quite a bit of bone meal. And it's not, you know, it's not really fast, but it's enough to, you know, you could get pretty much infinite bone meal, as long as you don't make a mistake. Now, I'm going to bone meal that and that. Hopefully, that's tall enough that I'm going to get one. Here we go. Oh, I got a couple. Nice, we got four. That's all right. So, I want to talk about the world a little bit. I've put all that in there, yeah. We've got um, a glowstone all above us, and below us is just some lava, and it's only two blocks high, the lava, but underneath it is some netherrack, and that should encourage those striders to spawn. And the idea is you need to get down there using some of these vines or something, or other ways, I don't know. Every player's to their own, but I would use vines personally. Um, yeah, get down there, make a little platform, get some of those striders, and ride them. <laughs> Because this isn't a full-on void, it's kind of just a chunk, like loads of chunks around you. I have got my render distance up quite high and you can't see anything. But I think it's like 300 blocks each way, that's what I did. Anyway, and yeah, you, you can basically explore the rest of the nether. That's why I changed the loot tables of the nether bridge and stuff. But anyway, I need to get to this island, but first of all, I think I'm going to break this. And I'm actually going to keep that one there because that's kind of like almost a ticket to get down there already which is quite nice maybe i could just um expand that a bit like that there we go and obviously i need to lift up all this stuff now let's just break this and then i'm going to talk about what's actually under here as well okay well, there's a bit more down there look so i could turn all this into a bone meal quite easily 
And yes, I wanted to talk about this. So I, like I say, I've retextured some of the vanilla rawers you know and love. So we've actually got some iron ore here. But to obviously get that, we need to break some of this blackstone because you can actually use blackstone as technically cobblestone, which is pretty cool. And yes, we've got some of this gold, gilded blackstone, I think it's called. But basically that one, it kind of gives you a bit of a percent chance that it will drop gold nuggets whilst being broken. A bit like how flint is with gravel. And then we've got some gold here. The, but the main reason of these golds is because sometimes you'll get piglins just spawning and you can obviously trade with them. That was my idea anyway. Um, okay, so let's kind of turn this into a bone meal then. So they are called stream lights. Stream? Mush stream lights, I think. <laughs> oh, look, it does grow. Okay, that's perfect then. That's all right. Maybe I should keep some light near it, so maybe that kind of will help it. I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll pretend it does. This fake sunlight, right? Anyway, I need to kind of grow a another one of these, um, you know, these, these fun guys. So, fun fungus, sorry. They changed the name, I think, didn't they? Yeah. Um, let's change that to a red one again. And... Ooh, I don't know, that might actually... I think I'm actually going to put a blue one in this corner. I'm scared that if I grow that, it might actually remove that. So no, let's lift that one back up. Um, let's get a warped one instead. We're going to have to go a bit of a mix of blue and red, I'm afraid. There we go. Phew. Sometimes they grow really fast, sometimes they don't. Oh, we only got a lot amount of wood. That's not good. Okay. Uh, I want a load of slabs. That isn't enough slabs. That's actually 32 blocks away, guys. Um, so I haven't got quite enough here, but yeah. I think what I'm going to do is remove all this Neverrack with the Nylium and leave these two like this. Although I should try and get some more. There we go. More uh, fungus first before I do that. Because without the fungus, we're not going to get the wood, right? So let's grow one more. Okay, we didn't get any that time. Yeah, we got another one there, look. Oh, I shouldn't have used that then. I should have broke all them. Why are we getting more of the glitch stuff than anything else? <laughs> Go in there. Can't get rid of you. Okay, we actually got quite a few of them, which isn't too bad. Okay, we can kind of bone me all of this stuff up, couldn't we? Now, I can actually break this a lot quicker with um, hose as well, which is quite cool. But, you know, using up the wood isn't great because, you know, a wooden hoe, yeah, it increases my chances and speed or whatever. But it's not groundbreaking how quick it goes, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's probably best just breaking it with your hand at the start until you get a bit more, a bit more richer with your wood. Um, let's break some of this. Uh, maybe I should think about getting some more of them, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I think I've got enough fungus now. I've got six red ones and three blue ones. Um, I've got some more of this stream light. Oh, look, my berries are growing. Let's... Can I take them, please? Okay, we can actually use other piece of dirt now and grow some more. Let's kind of put them there, shall we, like that? Oop. And expand that. And then one the other side as well. That makes such a cool noise when you place it. <laughs> it's proper echoey. So I'm just going around the outside of this island. Oh, I can't quite get there. I'm going to have to do that like that. Just so I can actually go in here and not lose any drops, basically. Because um, this stone is super valuable, and that's all we kind of get at the start. I'm a bit scared about that. Maybe I need to go two around, but as of yet, I haven't really got enough wood here to kind of pull that off properly. Maybe I can do something like that. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll get in there. I think now I'm going to break some of this, like this. And we're going to investigate what we got here. So we've got some iron. I don't know if you break this with a wooden pickaxe. Yeah, it does work. Okay, cool. So you can actually break this with wooden pickaxes, which is quite nice. So I could actually use this to make some golden tools, but gold tools are good, but I don't think it's very valuable, in all honesty. Um, I'll rather keep it for trading, I think. 
the main thing I want is this. Um, can you break this with a wooden pickaxe? I imagine you can. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a dumb question there, Dan. But I want to get enough so I can get free. There we go. Just keep going around. Breaking all these. Okay. I think that might be enough. We got three pieces. There we go. I'm scared then. Grow, baby. Grow. Yes. Nice. That's quite a lot. Perfect. Right. First thing we're going to do is fill in that hole. And then we're going to go over there and see what other treasures we've got over there, shall we? And we made it, guys. Okay, we got a wither rose, look. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. I actually forgot about that, guys. <sighs> yes, there's a piece of lava there. I absolutely forgot about that. Oh, my God. That was... How did that not burn me? I don't know. Maybe it's because I was on a half slab, possibly. Okay. Yeah, we got lava here. Be warned. Um, with the roses. Okay. This, I don't really need this because I've actually got some across um, over there in my chest. As oh, we got a piglin, look. Awesome. Hopefully kill him and get some rotten flesh, maybe. Bit of food. Okay. This is weird, this block now. Sounds so weird. But anyway, we got some smooth sand. Is that what it's called? No, soul soil, sorry. And yes, in this chest, we actually get ourselves some packed ice. Now, we can make a piece of blue ice with that. Whoa. Um, which is pretty cool. We got a saddle so we can actually go and ride one of these striders. And we got a never what so we can grow for composting. And another bone just for fun. Um, I'm going to actually just put these like that. This is a bit concerning. Uh, I'm going to take the chest. Hopefully I don't lose it. Because, uh... oh my god. Okay. So we know we've got some lava there. So... Luckily, in this little island, there is actually three pieces of iron, funnily enough. I wonder what that's for, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's basically for a bucket, obviously. Can I put that there, please? There we go. There we go, one blue ice. That is a vanilla recipe. I haven't changed any recipes. Probably know that anyway. And we can use that to make some basalt, which I'm going to try and do in a minute. Um, but I probably need to... Ooh. But I need to get some more wood, really. Um, let's put all this in here, just in case we do actually fall off and die. I don't want to lose anything, really. And I noticed there is some more berries there, look. Now, my little piglin friend, I wonder if I can actually kill you. <coughs> ah! <gasps> no! Okay, so I did actually lose quite a few things there, which includes... This stuff I had. <laughs> Ready for bone mealing. Oh well, we got a bone here, like. It's not a biggie. I'm sure we could come back from it. It's not a biggie. So I've noticed I've actually got eight pieces of blackstone here, um, which I must have broke earlier. And yeah, I'm gonna make some sticks, look. And we're gonna make a stone pickaxe. Now the idea of that is so I can get this iron and make a bucket. There we go. One. Two. Maybe I need to take some more of this for a furnace. Uh, I use three, right? Okay. That should be enough to make a furnace then. Luckily. Boom. Oh, we can make nice polished ones. Ooh. Okay, cool. Put that there like that. Although, how are we going to cook stuff? We're going to have to use sticks, right? Um, You could change the... <laughs> it's a bit silly, really, because you could change those sticks into... No, the wood into sticks, even though you can't technically burn the wood itself to make charcoal, which is a bit of a strange one. I may as well just put it in, I think. Although, I guess it kind of makes sense. Anyway, we need this, and this, and then this. Nice. <gasps> Whoa, that was close. That was super, super close. Okay, I can't really get that. Um... I'm going to have to break this one to get it. It's very important, so <laughs> I can't really not get that. There we go. I'll put that back. I honestly don't know if these things grow just by themselves or you have to bone meal them. I'm not really too sure. I still, like I say, still learning and testing this kind of stuff. One bucket, and that's kind of locked up. I don't know why that's locked up. That's weird. Maybe that's a bug. One bucket. Perfect. Right, let's go and grab this lava. I must say, all these sounds are very funky, aren't they? It's proper cool. 
<laughs> proper, proper cool. Anyway, I need this. I need this. Oh, no, guys, I've just realized I've actually lost my ice. But I'm not going to start again. That's not a problem. I've actually put packed ice in the loot table of the piglins. Obviously, when that uh, zombified pig man, I think they're still called, uh, pushed me off or whatever, I've obviously lost that. So I can actually make a basalt generator. So I'm going to have to rely on my strider down the bottom, hopefully. Um, and wood for now. I don't really know what else I can do. Um, well, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, well. It's something to look forward to for the next time. Um, right. I don't think I've ever used a composter so much in Minecraft. <laughs> it's actually really handy. I'm going to have to use some of these berries up. I mean, I could have been more generous and give you more bones, but come on, I've got to make you work for it, right? Let's chuck them in there. And okay, they don't really give you a lot. So at some point, I need to make myself a fishing rod to make a warped fungus on a stick. It's obviously used to ride these um, striders to get out of this kind of sky blocky thing. <laughs> so I can actually get some more resources. Um, so I'm going to check all this kind of stuff in here for now. Um, we've got some more of this. Maybe I could get a bit more. Yeah. So it's about between six and eight, I think. Gives you a piece of bone here, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute. I am going to uh, bone mill this and see. Oh, it's quite, it's got a, quite a way to get down. Okay, we, we need a lot of bone mill, guys. A lot of bone mill. I'm tempted to grow this. That's there, that's there. Hmm. Maybe I should grow one here. If I can bone mill, get enough bone mill, okay. Let's try that, shall we? Whoa. I'm gonna lift up the rest of this um, stone here. Oh, that one actually gave me some uh, nuggets, look. See, it's random. It's pretty cool, I like that mechanic. Um, yeah, we're gonna replace all this with slabs for now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave these ones here in like this kind of L shape look. Lol. So I can actually use this vine to get back up as well, which is pretty cool. So I may as well use that, right? Tell you what's the weirdest experience on this so far is it not seeing a day and night cycle and not seeing phantoms. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just spread this one here and here. I'm gonna just grow this as a backup, as a security. Oh, first get. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know they went that big. Oh my god, that is huge. I didn't expect that, guys. Seriously, I don't. I didn't know they went that big, especially from the first bone mill. <laughs> wow. Anyway, let's kind of bone mill this, and I don't know how far I need to go with that. I've still got one warp fungus there. I need, and I believe the striders only eat, or they they're in, attracted to that type of fungus let's just go down here and hopefully not fall in i don't know how i'm gonna hold shift a minute to see how deep oh yeah i'm nowhere near it look we're here we need to go a lot more yet so we need tons of bone meal for this um this could be quite a bit of a challenge actually to get down there but with that i think that's gonna help Look at that, my never wart is starting to grow. Look, we've got this like checkerboard pattern going on here. Look at that. I am so high up, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, I'm up the top of this. Let's get all this and we're gonna bone meal all this up. And then I'm gonna try and get some more of these fungus. This plan. So it's not the fastest start. Um certainly a different challenge. <laughs> it's totally possible though, I think. Do you reckon I can kill the wither? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever killed it. I'm scared. I tried to kill it once. Okay, I think I'm going to use up a few of these berries, look, just to finish this one off. Okay. Nice. How many have we actually got now? 17 pieces. That's quite a lot. I reckon I, this would probably do it, wouldn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11. We'll try that. We'll leave that like that. 5. I don't know why I keep running over there. I'm so used to that now. Right. I want to just grab another one of these and make sure I grow it just before. Just otherwise. There we go. 
It seems to always be one, which is really good. But this is what I'm talking about. You see these actually grow with these. You've got a bit more of a chance of getting more for the composter. Anyway, have we got enough to get down to Mr. Striders? I hope so. I'm going to have to use these crimson planks as my um, kind of platform. Otherwise, I would have used basalt, but unfortunately, I obviously died to that zombie pigeon. So let's see if I've got enough here, first of all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I can see a strider. I don't know if this is deep enough. Or grown enough, if that's even a thing. I think it has. Does it not catch on fire then? Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. This is going to be the tricky part. I don't know if I can physically... I place one. I place one. But I've lost all the wood. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't take my little fungus look with me, but I did take five pieces of bone meal, I think. Or did I put it all away? I can't honestly remember. But we placed a block, but I need to know which side I place it on. I would say it was this way. Oh, that's a strider. I thought it was my block. Whew, exciting times. He's got his little babies with him. Look. I reckon that I'm going to be able to place a block now. Yes, there we go. Oh, no. We made land, but it it burns. It it catches a light. That's the only issue. I need to put slabs on it. All right, let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm burning and climbing. I'm going to die. There we go. Now I know that I would always go down there with some slabs as well, so I can obviously um, make this so it doesn't actually burn. Anyway, let's cut some of this down so we can actually get some more um, area here for them. Because obviously I need to, I need to kind of attract these uh, striders and then kill them. Unfortunately, to get some string, probably climb back up and they're going to despawn or spawn some new ones in. That's my plan. Let's just put that there for a second. Kind of go up a slab. We're going to have to do it like this, I think, because otherwise it's going to burn, right? Let's just put one there for a minute. Okay, we've got a str Oh, there's quite a few over here, look. Hello? Do you want my little mushroom? <laughs> They're so random, these things. Their faces, they look so strange. I don't know if I like them or love them yet. It's a 50-50 toss at the moment. Um, oh, I hope they are attracted to this. I'm pretty sure they are. Unfortunately, I need to uh, just kill them. Oh, look, quite close now. Oh, they're coming! Oh, they don't attack you, do they? I don't think they do. I think they're friendly. Hello, friends. You're so creepy, but cute at the same time. Right, can I... I need to... I need to make them follow me, that's right. Come here. I need to kill these, but I need to get some string of them. Oh, he's got a little baby, though. I feel bad. Okay, there is... There is a block there. Oh, uh, no, not again. need to make them... No, little baby one, don't come up here. This is going to be really hard, actually. Oh, because they blow on fire. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Right, we need to throw that there, just in case. I think all my bits are there, look. Guys, I just made the stupidest mistake. I just broke the vines. Oh my god. I think we're going to have to do this on the next episode, aren't we, guys? This is totally possible. It's a serious, seriously, seriously, seriously hard challenge. Oh, hang on. I could just put these vines. Um, oh no. Oh no. I've just heard a gas. I just heard a gas. That's really not good. I'm going to break these down and kind of put that underneath it. Has that gone underneath it? I think so. Where's that gas that I just heard? It's really concerning. I think if this was basalt, I don't think it would actually catch a light. But I'm going to continue on anyway because I don't want to really cheat. Oh, and now he falls in the lava. Great. So I've been playing this for about an hour now, guys. And 
I think this is totally possible. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to use cheats or anything. Look, as you can see, if I do give an S a diamond, it isn't going to work. There's no cheats on, okay? So let me know in the comments section if you want to see an episode two. I need to seriously think about what i got to do here. Um, the main thing is just keep growing these and getting a load of bone meal, really. And I need to get myself a, another one of those warped fungus to obviously attract those um, striders to get some string to make the the warped fungus on a stick thing, so then I could obviously ride it. Now I'm hoping, oops, I have still got my saddle, right? Yeah, phew, because if I ain't got that, that's gonna be super, super tricky. Um, I have still got four pieces of bone meal here, so maybe I can just end the episode here with another one of them. Yes, perfect, that's all I wanted, one of them, and I know I'm safe. And I'm probably, for the sake of it, let's just grow another one. Oh man, they grow big as well. That is awesome. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this, and I shall see you next time, fingers crossed. You know what to do with this whole YouTube thing. Like and subscribe, and don't forget to share it with your friends. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited for this, guys, and I hope you are too. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!